Okay, quick and dirty video, no intro music, no bullshit. This is for your entertainment purposes only. Wear safety glasses. All right, as the title says, if you need to get in a wheel off of an axle, live axle go kart that's stuck on, just so happens we have two. These are Yerf Dog uh, go karts, and uh, both of them had the same problem. So, the other side over here, there's no brake, nothing in your way. As you can see, we got both wheels off this one already. So what we're about to show you works. Um, you could fast forward what I'm about to say, or you, or you could stay and listen for a second, but this will help you. On this side, we put wood across behind the wheel and electrical taped the wood together on both sides so that it would hold there while we did the rest of the rigging. Then we ran the chains around it like this, which I'll show you on the other wheel over there. All right, and then around a bottle jack, and that helps us. Okay, but when you go to the side with the brake, there's not enough room right here to get the wood between the rim, right? With the tire on there and all that, it's really tough to get that wood in between there. So we figured we would show you guys the final stages of what happens to get this thing off. So you can see I got a bottle jack in there. You can see how I've got the chain wrapped. I got a piece of angle iron right here. This is probably not the best. Um, I like the pipe. If I had two of these, I'd be using them. So if you're going to go buy a couple things to get this done, then um, the pipe would be my suggestion. But this is working. All right. Um, so you start off with the nut on the axle. All right. You wrap your chain. If you noticed, I've got the chain wrapped around here and I've got it bolted so that none of this really makes a whole lot of tension against the rim here. So you don't bend the rim. Um, this is done like this so it keeps this chain from spreading at all and then allowing these to bend. The closer you keep it to the wheel, the less of a chance you have of this stuff bending or if you're using wood, if you, you know, that's not gonna break on you. This is a pretty long chain from Harbor Freight. Uh, I, I wanna say, I think it's like 15 or 20 feet long. And then this is a um, heavy duty 20 ton low profile bottle jack from Harbor Freight. It's got an adjustable screw right here. And you'll see if you look in there that there's a socket in there now. That socket is gonna allow us to go ahead and pump the jack and, uh, and you'll be able to actually push that socket in there. Um, and it should continue to pull the axle off. Now you just gotta make sure that the jack continues to move uh, to stay straight with your axle, okay? And the reason, is this tight? Yeah. All right. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it moving. Let's try. But the socket will be able to go in there and uh, and the wheel will be able to come off around it. So that's the best bet. That's the way to do it. Yeah, you can see that it's pulling it. All right. It's slow going, but if you wanna save the wheel and you wanna save the axle, is what you gotta do. Now you see why I say safety glasses, right? Because if that socket shatters or going flying out of there, you can easily take out a nut. So, or one of these bolts, right? Use bolts long enough so you can get washers on there too. That's a bad example. But like back here, you see we got a washer. You see we got a washer and a nut. Um, we also used zip ties just to help us keep tension on the chain as we got everything set up. And then these ropes also help. They just go up to the rafter just to help us hold the bottle jack right where we wanted it while we got everything rigged up. Um, and as you can see, this is really time consuming, but like I said, you save the rim, you save the axle, and you're able to get it running today. All right? Hope this helps you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one.